All right, welcome back for the third tutorial. This is going to be an addendum to what I actually missed. I actually missed a little bit in the last tutorial, so I was a little sick last week uh, when I made that video. I'm feeling much better now, but uh, let's actually finish off what I forgot to mention. Now, I did mention that you did need to create all your assets, and if you are, if you watched that video and you left off where I left off, you would have put your maps under to here. So uh, you can see all my maps are here. I'll jump out here. And you can see this is all the maps that I have. So if you were watching the last video, your maps should be here. So I'm, this is the addendum to change that. Where your map should be is actually in its own content folder. So what does that mean? Uh, let's close this. Boom. So you see this. all this is Mord How, and this will be your mod. It even identifies as mod. So what you're going to do is, as in the other videos, you can create a new uh, mod by going here. Mod, Mord How Mod Manager. New Mod Wizard. And I'm going to make a new one, Pyramid Arena. So if you're making a new map, this would be perfect. You just clear it here. And this is for the SDK. Create mod. Boom. And then you just type in the game base, uh, game mode base. Sorry, I have a little dyslexic there. And this should be fine. Pyramid Arena. Perfect. That's all you really need to do. Okay, so once you click, uh, click on that, it should create, you just verify all this, and that's really all you need to do. Um, make sure this is applied to Pyramid Arena, then you click out of there, and from there, you can see the content is made. So now, to transfer the rest, all you have to do is go to Maps again, go to Pyramid Arena, and because this is already made, you, know, you just, where is Pyramid Arena? Bam. Bam. You can click and drag. And then move. And that's it. It's going to start moving everything you need. Now, this is where things are going to really break. So you won't be able to cook the folder right away. Um, and uh, once it lets me click and you know, I'll, I'll change the, the options here. Uh, one thing you do have to check through is when you cook, it'll give you a list of errors in your output log. Uh, to turn off uh, warnings and messages, and it should only have errors. So all the text you should see is red when it's done cooking. If it fails to cook, all the red will kind of tell you um, what is going wrong. Um, I've actually run into an issue where the name is too long, so it won't cook properly. So you do have to kind of cut some folders out if you really want to get some stuff cooked. Um, so Whiskey Outpost, under Whiskey Outpost, in the Whiskey Outpost content. So you have to cut one of the folders out there. I can't show you quite yet because it's timing, so I'll, I'll actually edit this out and then you'll see the where we leave off. All right, so now we're back. Uh, now that it's been uh, successfully transferred, all these folders will be empty. So for the most part, you should be able to just go through them real quick, make sure that they are empty, and you can delete them as you check, and it'll be fine. Um, hopefully you've backed it up already since by watching the first two videos. This is the third. So now we're going to go into the content. I'm going to leave this for later. Boom, 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 boom. Now then you'll see what I do have do have these assets are used for something so I'll cancel that for now and deal with that later so we're gonna go to the mod folder now the official mod folder boom pyramid arena and notice how there's a pyramid arena already right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this and actually make sure that it's under this rather than in pyramid arena because that just creates a longer directory to cook so you see the path is actually saying uh pyramid arena pyramid arena yeah you don't want that so make sure it's on the outside of this so what we'll do is we'll actually copy paste this but for now i'll leave it as it'll load fine it won't cook right now but it will load fine um yep select it see select that should be fine yeah it looks like it's using the berserk grass so i'll have to make sure that it's using its own grass and re-reference a lot of the blueprints uh, so when you did the template um, for when you were saving or creating the new um, mod, uh, this is what it was verifying. It was verifying all this stuff here on the right. So let's go check it real quick. Um, wizard, test, create mod. Okay, so this will pop up. Uh, game mode base is the template. You can add new templates too. Um, I haven't quite touched that yet. But yeah, it's just test, add a subfolder. You can add remove let's check add assets okay so you can add actors and such stuff but i'm gonna actually remove that folder 
Now, if you want to create your own stuff, then yeah, you'll have to kind of fidget a little bit more. I'm not really well versed in blueprints and coding, so that's going to be on you. Um, I'll see if uh, we can hand out some simple guides or places to uh, you guys can get your resources to uh, create your own stuff on Mordhau. Uh, but back to the mod itself. This is the Pyramid Arena. You can see it still works. It's loading properly. Let me see if I can get out of here. Here we go. This is the main Pyramid Arena area. Let's turn this up a little bit higher just to make sure that everything else is working. Pyramid Arena is loading successfully, no problem. So now how to cook it. Uh, this is the addendum. Go to Pyramid Arena content here. Pyramid Arena, create a new level. I'm gonna call this Horde Pyramid Arena. Boom. So now you're gonna open this. Save selected. So this will be the, uh, the game mode here. It has to have this the, the prefix to it. And now you're gonna have this blank. We're gonna go to levels. I don't have it open right now. It's a window. Levels. Perfect. I'm actually gonna dock this right here. Boom. I'm gonna drag Pyramid Arena into levels. Boom. And now it's part of the world. And it's gonna be loading. Yeah, you can see it's frozen. Perfect. So now it's loading. So now you go switch back to this. Right click this, make sure that it is uh, always loaded and your changing train streaming method always loaded because otherwise it will go back to the black uh, the black screen and you don't want that your character will be falling through an abyss. So yeah, you don't want that. We'll switch to that. And once this is done, you're gonna switch the game mode to whatever your level is. So if you have a SKM, you'll switch to skirmish, horde mode, deathmatch, whatever your prefix is. So this is horde. So I'm gonna switch this to horde mode as soon as it's done. All right, let's just uh, give it one more second. It's building navigation, so it's taking a little bit longer than I'd hoped, but that's okay. Boom, all right, we're good. Uh, and then from there, I'm gonna load in horror mode. Now, I'm not gonna load in the custom ones because I actually haven't plugged those in yet, and they're all uh, blueprints in transfer from USDK to USDK break, so that's pretty much garbage. So I'm gonna just use the horror mode, and I wanna verify this is the actual game. Yep, perfect. Horde mode. And we're good. That's it. That's pretty much it. And from here, you pretty much just uh, touch up on whatever you can. Now, I didn't really have any blueprints in this except for torches. So, what I can do is show you how to fix it up real quick. Uh, let's go back. All right, so we're going to save this real quick. Make sure it's saved. Everything's applied on the right side. Everything's good. So now, all horde mode would need uh, is a certain few things. Uh, for one, it needs nav mesh so your AI can walk around. This is already pre navbed So now all I have to add is spawns. So let's get uh, some spawns in here. Best way to do that is to search in here. Go back to Mordhau. Type in Mordhau player and it should start right here more how player start that's all you need for players to spawn and then you just put like two three so now six twelve Cool, so now I have enough players, so if a lot of players want to join, they can spawn in one of these spots. That is required. Now, the next part that is required is the enemy. The horde spawn. I believe it's horde spawn. Yep, horde spawn. Perfect. And it'll be a box. Uh, I'll make a few. I like that it's a box now, so I can kind of see where the humans are going to spawn. That's where I'll set it, and that's where I'll leave it. So I'll give you a little bit of time to walk over here, so you have time to prepare your defenses. And I'll cut the spawn times to kind of make it match, so you, you can't constantly have enemies coming at you. Yeah, decent pace. And that's all you really need for this, um, as far as I remember. A horde, 
Uh, I don't know the new horde mode yet. I believe there's like an MVP. You save the MVP. I don't know how to plug that in. So this is just the original horde mode. So if you have it and you're carrying over the old horde mode, uh, once I get that working, I'll post it on the YouTube in a link and you guys can copy paste it and play the old horde mode. Uh, but for now, this is just how to get it started. And then once you're here, uh, you got everything you need. This is saved on the game mode itself. And you can save uh, all here. So now that I have it all set up in the editor to cook this map and the other, from there you just go back to the Mordheim man Mod Manager and then you go to Packaging. And then from there you can uh, select all these. So I would just uh, cook Windows Client first. Here at Red Arena. And that's pretty much all that you need. And then from there you just press this and now it's cooking. And again, uh, keep an eye out for all the errors that you may run into. Uh, the biggest error right now that I've been running into is that the name is too long. So make sure that you are uh, putting stuff in the right folder. Uh, this should be under content. So I don't know why they redid it like this, but it's it's going to be um, hurting a little bit. So I'm actually going to cancel the cook because I know it's I know it's not going to work right off the bat. I know it's gonna work, not going to work. Uh, and I do have to rebuild lighting uh, to do that. Pretty much build lighting. Um, so let's make sure that it's working. So let's finish this tutorial with this. I'm going to save it. I'm going to actually uh, see if we can load another map or something because this is going to move all of the stuff. Close this. I'm going to select all this. I'm going to move this directly into uh, content. And that's going to be it for now. So it's moving there now, and this will kill a lot of the cooking errors that you're getting for the name being too long. Um, unfortunate it has to be that way, but that's okay. I'll just delete this folder once it's finally moved. Um, this will take a long time, so uh, if you plan on doing a lot of stuff, you can go and uh, walk the dog or get some, something to eat while this is doing it. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, that's the stuff that I forgot to add in. Uh, I'll be doing some more specific tutorials um, per game mode since now. We may as well start from scratch for all the newcomers that are coming into a Mordhau modding. So, uh, yeah, keep an eye out for this. This will be, I believe, the final one um, that we need to do just to get your your old maps working on the SDK. Uh, anything I might have left out, please uh, let me know in the comments, and I'll make another video. Uh, but next week I'll be trying to do some stuff... Um, some basics on just the level design stuff for all the newcomers. I know that someone already requested to, to do some how to get started on the SDK rather than transferring. Uh, we'll do that next. All right, guys, but uh, if you guys need anything else, let me know in the comments and I'll be sure to get to it. Um, otherwise, yeah, it's been a pretty busy time after the holidays, so hopefully now I'll have a little more time. Hey, this is Lord Commander Guts, aka Mike G, signing off. Catch you guys uh, next time.